Hydrogen is a good option because we are used, like I said, to a carbon fuel diet. Uh, typical carbon-based fuel, even the cleanest one, um, other than natural gas, you know, the cleanest pure carbon fuel otherwise would be propane or LPG. They have carbon-carbon bonds. Every time I have a carbon-carbon bond, when I burn it, I will create some particulate matter, some soot. The second thing is hydrogen is very energy dense. Its mass density is much higher than most things. But immediately the problem comes, being a gas, it is very <coughs> light from a volume point of view. So I have to compress it to get the mass energy density to my advantage. Compression itself has a cost, both energy cost and financial cost. That's why adoption is slow. I think the future will belong to hydrogen carrier systems, either solids or liquids, which are hydrogen proxies. Two good ones. One is, uh, there's a term actually already in the market, and people have started doing this in Japan, liquid uh, hydrogen carriers, liquid organic hydrogen carriers, LOHC. If you look that up, you'll find lots of stuff on it. So one of those LOHCs is uh, something called cyclohexane, and that, for example, work is being done in National Environmental Engineering Research Institute in Nagpur. Another one, which Indian policymakers have really looked at, and I believe it's a good one, is methanol. Methanol has no carbon-carbon bonds. And it's essentially a molecule of carbon dioxide along with two molecules of hydrogen. So it's a very useful uh, molecule. And it could be an easy way, so wherever you have hydrogen produced, you capture carbon dioxide from the air, you make methanol locally, then you ship methanol, it's a liquid, so it will go into the existing pipeline infrastructure, whatever, and then you simply send it into a car, or if you need to take out hydrogen, you take out hydrogen from the methanol by a catalytic process.